The PS1 may have reinvigorated the JRPG genre all throughout its lifespan. However, its successor, the PS2, had more released JRPGs compared to the other 6th generation consoles along with it. Speaking of the high-priced JRPGs for the PS2, my name is JRPG, and within these boxes I have here are some notable pricey games that I got from eBay in 2021, so I decided to unbox them all now. Okay, so we got Suikoden Tactics, and I got this for 72 US dollars. Now, Suikoden Tactics originally released in Japan as Rhapsodia. Uh, it is a tactical role-playing video game developed and published by Konami for the PlayStation 2 console. And as part of their Suikoden series, um, initially released in Japan and North America in late 2005, the game was later made available in Europe um, around 2006. It is the first strategy-based installment of the series using tactical and grid-based combat instead of the turn-based battles employed by previous games in the series. Uh, players assume the role of Cairo, a young man investigating the power of mysterious weapons called rune cannons, which hold strange powers of transformation and the story of Suikoden Tactics begins about seven years before the events of Suikoden 4 and established the reason why Kyrill is determined to search out and destroy the rune cannons. Shadow Hearts and I got this for um, 164 US dollars. Now, Shadow Hearts is a role-playing video game developed by Saknoth for the PlayStation 2, published in Japan by Aruz in 2001. It was published internationally by Midway Games in the same year in North America and 2002 in Europe. The titular first game in the Shadow Hearts series, it acts as a sequel to the 1999 video game Kudelka for the PS1, being set in the same world and featuring recurring characters. Shadow Hearts is a role-playing video game developed by Saknoth for the PlayStation 2 and published in Japan by Aruze in 2001 and it was published internationally by Midway Games in the same year in North America and 2002 in Europe. The titular first game in the Shadow Heart series, it acts as a sequel to the 1999 video game Kudelka for the PlayStation 1, being set in the same world and featuring recurring characters. The game's worldview combines alternate history with horror elements from H.P. Lovecraft. A key element of gameplay is the, the usage of Judgment Ring, represented as a disc with colored areas on its surface. The player's aim is to hit those areas as a pointer passes over them. If the player fails to hit an area, the attack can either be shortened or cancelled altogether. Shadow Heart Covenant, and I got this for 107 US dollars. Shadow Hearts Covenant is a role playing video game developed by Nautilus or Sacknoth for the PlayStation 2, and it is the second entry in the Shadow Hearts series, published in Japan by Aruze in 2004. And the game was released internationally by Midway Games in 2004. North America and 2005 in Europe. Covenant takes place in 1915, six months after the events of the first game. The combat system of Shadow Hearts was revamped for Covenant in response to the criticism over the first game mechanics. The Judgment Ring was redesigned, resulting in the addition of multiple ring types and an auto mode. The combo system was implemented to make the game feel more rewarding for advanced players. 
the judgment ring is used with every battle action from standard attacks and special abilities to item use. Shadow Hearts from the New World and I got this for 130 US dollars. Shadow Hearts from the New World is a role-playing game developed by Nautilus Sacknoth for the PlayStation 2 and it was published in Japan by Aruze in 2005 and in America by Exceed Games in 2006 and in Europe by Ghostlight in 2007. The New World is the third and the final game in the Shadow Hearts series, acting both as a continuation of the series and a spin-off featuring new characters. The game used a modified version of the Covenant engine. More detailed characters, expressions were incorporated in this game and the load times were decreased. And unlike Covenant, from the New World used only one PS2 DVD which caused uh, some problems with data storage. Real-time cutscenes were made more cinematic with more attention uh, paid to the camera angles and character movement. And despite the change to a lighter atmosphere, the monster designs continued to draw inspiration from H.P. Lovecraft's Cthulhu Mythos, an influence reaching back to the first Shadow Hearts. Dot Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth Dot Hack GU Volume 2 Reminisce and Dot Hack GU Volume 3 Redemption. So the Dot Hack GU trilogy, and I got all of these three as a bundle for 300 US dollars. So 100 US dollars each. So these games are all single player action role playing games for the PlayStation 2, developed by CyberConnect 2 and published by Namco Bandai Games between 2006 and 2007. The series contains three games, which is Rebirth, Reminisce, and Redemption. As in the previous Dot Hack games, Dot Hack GU simulates the MMORPG called The World where the player controls a character who plays the fictional online game while in the world the player controls the on-screen player character named Haseyo from a third-person perspective that hack gu is an action role-playing game where the players attack monsters in real time however the action pauses whenever the menu is opened in order to select magic to cast items to be used or skills to be performed the player only directly controls Haseo, unfortunately, and the other characters are controlled by the game itself. Monsters roam around the environment freely or guard treasure chests. Once combat is initiated via a surprise attack or the player being spotted, a wall erects around the combat area to prevent escape. Dot Hack Quarantine, arguably the most expensive game that I have yet, and I got this baby for 460 US dollars. Dot Hack is a series of single player role playing video games developed for the PlayStation 2 by CyberConnect and published by Bandai, as I mentioned earlier. There were four games in total Dot Hack Infection, Dot Hack Mutation, Dot Hack Outbreak, and of course Quarantine. I already got the first three and I didn't realize there was a fourth one, so here it is. And it took me quite a while to get the fourth one because it's so damn expensive. The series featured a game within a game, a fictional MMORPG called The World, as I mentioned earlier. Each game comes with an extra DVD containing an episode of Dot Hat liminality and the accompanying OVA series which details events that occur concurrently within the games. The PS2 games were set after the events of the anime series Dot Hack Sign, 
with the focus on a player character named Kite and his quest to discover why some users have become comatose in the real world as a result of playing the game world. The developers looked at a number of MMORPGs such as Fantasy Star Online, Ultima Online, Final Fantasy XI for inspiration and drew influences from Neon Genesis Evangelion and Ghost in the Shell. The three month gap between each game's release allowed the developers to make minor changes in response to fan criticisms about the games. These were eight JRPGs for the PlayStation 2 that I acquired for this year of 2021. And these titles are rare and very expensive that they cost me over 1000 US dollars for all of them combined. And they're only eight games. And the market prices of JRPGs for other consoles are just as bad or even worse. Clearly, the market for JRPG collecting is broken. But as long as there are collectors like us who are into JRPGs, we have no choice but to succumb to the law of supply and demand. That is it for now guys and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. I shall see you again next time. Bye bye.